It's good. It's three, two, one. The countdown. Oh, it used to go from five. Right? I don't know. Well, it's on. No. Both of them are on. Check. Yeah, you're good. 29. No, it's not 20. It's like 26. Oh. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? I'm just guessing. Jesus, it's two and six, bro. You and your fucking Mountain Dew. Right now? Yeah. Yeah. How was this week? It was good. It was a lot. There was a lot this week. Yeah. Oh, not I, really. I claim to be independent this week. What does that mean? I mean, I ain't Demo- Democrat anymore. <laughs> oh. Fucking independent now. Oh, you're not Fuck bo- Biden. I'm not voting for that guy. You're not right or left, huh? Nah, I'm in the middle, I think. I'm probably going to vote for him. Not not Biden, but RFK. I have to. <laughs> I'm going to vote RFK until there's no longer the ability to vote for him. I'm voting for Dwayne Johnson. He's not running yet. I think he will, though. I think he will. You know he's going to. Um, or Yeah, I'm going to. You're going to vote for him? Yeah, I've never voted. Why not? I'm a felon. I can't vote. Oh, you can't vote? Well, that's cool, though. I mean. That's cool, though. Like I said, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to vote if it's just Biden versus Trump. And a lot of the gays are going to hate me for that, but I'm not going to vote. I'd rather let the. You already I, know who's going to win that. Trump. 100%. Trump's definitely winning. God damn, I'm going to get high. Woo! So last night, yesterday, I tripped. These guys went to a basketball game, and I came back from the bar, and I was like, let me try to bite a little of that shroom. And then I was like, let me just try to bite a little bit more. Yeah, you gotta take the whole thing. It was cool, though. It was like a... It was... It was uh, like an avenue. Electric avenue. Do, do, do. Electric now avenue. You got, now you just gotta go for it one day. I mean, I did that last it's, time. But it was it was cool, like I said. Yeah, it was a smaller mushroom. The that big, was a big one. The bigger ones are crazy. That was a big one. That, yeah, but that one you took pieces out of. Yeah, for like an hour, I was like, I, I, I'm gonna do more. But eat it all at once. Arf. Next time. Uh, yeah, maybe. I swear to God, like that's what I was saying. I was watching a movie, and I don't know if it was me or the movie, but I swear to God, like whatever I wanted the movie to tell me, the movie was telling me. And then it was just going back and forth, back and forth, rewinding. And I was like, oh, is this, this isn't real, right? He had a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, these guys are talking about my friends. These guys are talking about life. And they're just like, dude, you know, you got to you just live your own shit. I'm like, okay. This is wild. I've been like, my mind's been a lot clearer since tripping a lot lately. <laughs> it's supposed to be. I mean, this is, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Doing mushrooms helps with, I don't wake up foggy in the morning. That's what we were talking about, the lion's mane. Mm. The lion's mane is a mushroom, but that's yeah. supposed to help you with, like, energy. And that's what I was telling yeah. you. And that guy that I met at the bar today, it was like, hey, I take lion's mane, too. And I was like, I wake up, and like, I take those supplements. I'm good to go. Like, today, I woke up, because we tripped yesterday. I woke up today, and I felt <laughs> fucking great. The way you did, I was like, can you pass me the little... And you're like, here, sir. <laughs> here, <please have> sir. <laughs> Join me in my trip. <laughs> And I was like, you really want me to get high, huh? Uh, yeah, get it. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. Yeah. Fucking Iran. So far away. That you couldn't get away. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, that shit's wild. That shit's kind of crazy. He, here's the thing that I was telling everybody else, though. It's more crazy, though. Like, last night, I was disconnected from the world yesterday because I was at basketball all I've been day. paying attention to this all year long, And then, baby. fuck it, I come home, start tripping, and then I get on Twitter like, oh, the World War Three is about to happen. And I'm like, oh, shit! It, it, it's like, nobody, nobody's nobody been paying, like, I, I think most people are like, oh, it's just day by day, this war's supposed to go on. I'm like, don't, I think there's a guy named Andrew Pike that has this paper written in like, I don't know, 1980, 1800s or something. And it talks about the three world wars and how the World War Three is going to happen. It's the Zionists versus fucking the Palestinians. Yeah. This is a fucking 100 years ago. I'm like, this has to be <laughs> coordinated <coughs> to happen. It's, it's, it's wild because then you have, that, you have that one sergeant from the, uh, the Bush administration that was like, or we're going to take out all these countries in the Middle East. We're going to take out Libya. We're going to take out Iraq. And at the end, there's Iran. And now what are we doing? Now what's going on right now? I I don't know what the fuck is going on. I think it's planned. I'm just watching 
mainstream news. Plant. I'm not a... Taiwan's coming next, baby. <laughs> See, I don't know about any of that shit. Yeah, we were talking about last time. Taiwan. Where uh, a- Anthony Blinken was like, oh, yeah, we we don't stand by Taiwan. Oh, right yeah, now. yeah, 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 yeah. Dude was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, whatever Taiwan decides, <laughs> we, we're not <laughs> fucking with it. <laughs> Ran it back up, dude. We're not fucking with that. You know, but just imagine, though, if it, like, we did put a foot in the war between You them. know we are. We will. We will eventually. Eventually. And Trump's going to come over here and stop that and shit. Russia's going to be like, let's bomb America. <laughs> Russia's been like that for a while. I, dude. I talked to a lot of Russian guys, weirdly, and I was like, would you ever come to the yes? They're like, fuck the yes. And I was like, okay. It ain't gonna ever work out. <laughs> like, My yeah. bad. If they haven't already came over here and stayed here, they're like Mother Russia, yeah. <laughs> the motherland, USSR, <laughs> yeah. Soviet Union, and Iran. Uh, you, you know, you know the 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 band that sings that song is Flock of Seagulls. And I was thinking yesterday, I was like, you know, flock of uh, flock of drones, <laughs> more like it. for Iran for real. <laughs> Fuck, bro. i seen that video. <laughs> Just, Didn't you? It was like wild, bro, right? I was like, holy shit. Na- not this you who's going to be bombing that shit. I this, swear little, this lady was like videotaping it from her balcony. I was going, ah! <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And the city's all blowing up and shit. Isn't it wild? Like, thank God. I mean, this is one thing to be like, you're proud to be a United States citizen is that we're not having to deal with any of this shit at all. I'm kind of proud until we fucking put our foot in the war and Russia's going to come over here. Cyber attack, cyber attack, cyber attack. Russia and China together. Get the banks to close down. That too. But I'm guarantee. I guarantee you Russia and China together would not be scared to try to invade. I think this is a slow mo. I think this is a very slow. Red Dawn 2024. I don't know what that is. It's a movie. Oh, is it like a zombie movie? No, it's where Russia invades America. Oh, well, you should see. Well, There's we're gonna, actually we're gonna go see Civil War on Tuesday. You, you, we should watch that movie. Oh, I'm down. There's actually two versions of it. There's a old, the very first one with Patrick Swayze, mm. and that he was a babe back in the day. It was a 1980s movie. So, are you saying yes? He was a babe. No, everybody <laughs> just. I was just saying. You're like, no, don't start this. Don't start this. <laughs> 1980s. And Patrick Swayze, that's Prime Swayze, so he's probably a babe. Yeah, he was a babe. So yeah, that hair, dude, that was good. Yeah, my hair. Wow, oh, your hair's okay. I just got a hat on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta trim it. Your hair? Like, uh, yeah, uh, like off my ears. Yeah, I gotta cut mine. Mine's getting long right here. Yeah. I want, I, but I want to bleach my pubes again, dude. Oh. I want, I want to go pink this time. Oh hell no! <laughs> I want a little, uh, what is it, a play-doh color looking down there? Yeah. <laughs> For what? So somebody can mold it. Nobody's ever down there. Yeah, that's true. I wish somebody was down there. You know, this is your dick right now. <laughs> <laughs> just lay down. Well, it's just laying there. Down. You know, I was thinking about today. I mean, I was like, God damn, it's been a month or two months. I don't fucking know. I haven't got anything. I matched with this one guy on Thursday and I was so excited because I was like, no way did this guy match with me. But it seemed like one of those guys that you swiped right on like a month ago. And if they barely swiped right on you, that means they're never on these apps. And so I was like, all right, this guy swiped right on me and I didn't respond for like three hours and there's no response. I was like, fuck. But a lot of those apps, a lot the cool, the sucky part about the apps now is back in the day, there was actually legit people on there. There's so many fucking fake ass profiles on there now for the swipes now. It yeah. sucks. Yeah. And that's where I was like, I only have, I don't know about the men's side, but the girl's side, there's, well, I have to go on that side too, because my, my Twitter, my X.com is more women's <laughs> women with dicks now. Just than from the dudes. picture, just from the pictures, you can be like, oh, that's fake. Oh, yeah, no, you can do yeah, And you it sucks because you're swiping no for 90% of them because they're all fake. I swipe no because they're all ugly. That too. <laughs> but I don't find anybody attractive anyway. But all uh, the other pictures be like Instagram models or like some pictures stolen off of Google. I'm like, bitch. You ugly. Yeah. <laughs> U-G-L-Y ugly. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are we spelling right now? <laughs> I saw the other day that... Uh, International Sports Federation. I thought that? it was going to go to entertainment. It's like an international thing that votes on whether or not 
things can go to the Olympics. And one oh. of the things that they voted for was pole dancing. So pole dancing now has a route to the Olympics. <laughs> Imagine the motherfucker that brought that conversation up. How would the conversation go? I don't know. Hey. Well, you'd be just in a board meeting? Yeah, maybe. Or, or like, but but then you. what I want is I would like to challenge the Olympics to have, I want weight classes how, for all sports. How do you, okay, so. What is the conversation with the Olympic comi- committee to fucking convince them to say yes? <laughs> we need DEI, <laughs> diversity, whatever that shit stands for. It is a sport hanging on that pole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. And that's why I want I want weight classes and I want height classes. I want to see people under five foot doing pole dancing. And I want to see people I think 250 the- and up pounds doing pole dancing. No, no, no. The midgets would be easy. You can't say that. I can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> yeah, that was like, what is Jeffrey? Uh, what is it, G- Gervais? He's like, you can't say the word retarded. Yes, I, I just did. It's okay. I, I can. <laughs> I can. I really did. <laughs> oh man, I got something to talk about after this, but uh oh. Yeah, but other than that, just been tripping, growing some shrooms, watching Iran and fucking what you call it. Bomb it's other. real. It's real, yeah. I ran and it's real. Watching Biden fuck all this up. Fucking I I think it's a psyop, bro. I think it's a psyop. I think I think okay, check this out. What what previous president has been in the background of the speaker of the house doing a speech? I don't know. No previous president in the last since we were born has done that. I don't what you're talking about so you know so there's a new speaker of the house right um whatever that one dude got kicked out and this new guy came up but trump's behind him doing a speech and then he's watched that that doesn't happen biden's behind this guy the president is actually behind this guy doing a speech all the time and trump's behind him and people are like this is weird when has a previous president been active doing speeches behind the house the Speaker of the House of Congress or whatever, doing all this shit. And this is what I told you last week, where, like, Trump has the, the eagle on the top of the flag is the little golden thing. And that's symbolism. Oh, uh, everybody does. No. Those flags have no, always been they like have, that. They just, no. No, the president has the eagle. The other guys just have a golden, like, little butt plug. No, dude, I will. I will prove it to you after this because I like it's I trippy. think that's the Mandela effect, because I remember the Eagles being on top of the fucking every flag. No, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it is the man because CERN happened. Yeah, because in school, all the flags in the in the schools when I was little had the, the gold Eagles on the top. Mm, I don't know. But don't you want to see 250 pound people doing? Bruh, yes. Doing, That's, I don't want to see dancing? the midgets because it's too easy for them. I feel. I feel like. I How feel are they like, gonna get up to the top? I feel really fucking quick, <laughs> <laughs> like little cockroaches. <laughs> shoo, 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 shoo. I think they'd be up there quick. I think it'd be too easy for them. Now the heavier set bitches. Yeah, I want to see that. I want to. I want to see the heavier set bitches do some pole vaulting. You or, know, like even a guy he like tries to slide down and his dick gets stuck <laughs> between <laughs> the pole and his legs. Like, like that shit would hurt, bro. I want to see it all, dude. I want to see injuries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was epic. I want to see injuries, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You do want to see injuries. You want to see some shit fucking happen, dude. Especially if it's strippers and shit, bro. Like <laughs> yeah. they got all these fucking nine inch pumps on and shit and they're all breaking ankles and heavyweights shit. i want to see bowling i want to see tennis you know uh stripper bowling okay i can see that like you have to take a pair of clothes off like a, a piece of clothing off every time you hit a strike yeah but that would be bar more like barroom bowling it's this is for the olympics i don't know i don't fucking I don't watch think that they, shit they don't strip during the olympics i would i like those guys that do the uh where they hold the arms out on those rings those guys are like oh, super the, ripped. Yeah, the ring dude, uh, the where they're sitting on the ropes. Yeah, like Vince Vaughn. Yeah, in that one movie. Yeah, that's cool. Those are fucking crazy. Let me let me say something real quick. The stamina you have to have in your arm to have that shit, isn't it wild? Those like, guys are shredded. 
just climbing these stairs, the lactic acid burns. And it then, does. It hurts. You're like, oh, just imagine holding your arms out with your body weight for fucking three minutes. <laughs> like, fuck you. After I go running, I walk up. Well, that's, that's why. When you guys are gone, I'm like, all right, Brandon's going to work. You know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to walk up these stairs like 50 <laughs> times today. Yeah. Just to get. Just between phone calls, because I'm like, I can't work out here, do anything else. So I just walk up the stairs or, yeah. you know, do. But it's, like, nice because you get to burn those calories. You get but them yeah, stair it, runs in. It fucking hurts, though, it dude. Does. Jesus. It just, like. My foot still hurts from two weeks ago. What the fuck kind of shit is this? You're just old. I told my mom. I was like, God, something something inside my foot has broken. Age hits people That's why I'm gonna differently. Take that, I'm going to take that TRT when I get better insurance. You're 33 is. 37 <laughs> americans are gonna americans are gonna fucking die dude in the sense that we're gonna have the worst health that's why that's why i will vote for rfk because he's like chronic disease all this shit fix gonna, it yeah fix it dude <laughs> biden's like let's give him chemicals i'm like oh no i ain't gonna do that right he's mm. all crop dusting us right now i was watching all these let me let me say something if you're if you're 16 and above and you hit older people or stab older people on a train. You're or, at, I, and and if it's me, I am fucking killing you. <laughs> like I will fucking knock your teeth down your throat. No, no, don't do that. Because what I'm gonna about to say <laughs> next is it's not even going to jail. It's just pop, pop, dude. The government just needs to look at this guy and say you 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 hit some eighty year old and broke their fucking jaw. Yeah. Done. Uh, yesterday, Done. Yesterday, actually, yesterday on Twitter, there was this fucking British dude on the ground, and some dude was trying to help him up, and this kid ran up like a twelve-year-old kid and fucking kicked his face in, like his whole teeth and everything. Off. It's immigrant. I don't know. It was somewhere in uh, London or UK. All these immigrants. The the, the uh, Bill Maher was just saying the other day, Sweden has had the uprise of all of this um, violence. Um, people attacking other people and hate crimes and all that stuff, but they're all immigrants. And he's like, it's not racist to say they're immigrants because it's fucking true. Right. It's not the people that are origin from this country. But is it they have, wild? It's crazy because like Sweden has the lowest crime yes. rate. One or of did. The, it did have the lowest crime rate between all the like all the, European countries. Yeah, yeah all Europe that in Denmark. And yeah. Denmark's prisons are fucking amazing. They give you apartments, bro. Man, I'm about to go to uh, what's a uh, the uh, South America? It's not um <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> no, that country be bad too. Uh, that no, country, that country's a little sketchy. That <laughs> co- that country is trying to block uh X dot com right now with uh free speech. And when that shit happened, I was like, no way, that, that's not happening. And yeah, that shit was happening. The the judge was trying to. Fine, Elon Musk, Elon Musk was like, "Fuck this, I'm not doing that." No way. The yeah. free speech thing is tripping me out because Australia's done it, the UK's done it with X, we've done it, and that's another reason why. So I'll say this out loud: RFK sued the Biden administration to try to utilize social media platforms to block him, saying it was uh, misinformation, and then. RFK was like, no, it's not misinformation. But then they said it's now mail information, meaning if it just doesn't go towards the administration, if it goes against the administration, the current administration, that's, that's mail information. They can try to use utilize social media platforms against you to <coughs> shut you down. Like News Network. Yeah. It, isn't it wild that it's, he and he won? RFK won. That's why I will not pe- vote. People just got to realize it. it. Social media is ju- when it comes to that kind of shit. It's just like CNN, Fox News, all of it, all of it. This it, is why it's all intertwined. Like it really is. This is why podcasts are becoming more and more. That's where relevant. you get your real news. You do. You do. You get you your, do you, like I love redacted. Dude. Redacted is insane. You get, you get your news from Twitter and fucking what you call it, fucking podcast. podcast. That's it. The real ones, yeah. The real shit. Like I don't even follow news networks on Twitter and shit like that. And the the wild thing is, you have the generation above you that does watch the news, and they're like, and they're as crazy as the generation above us is literally only like five years older than us. Yeah, five to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy. And then, but they they're wholeheartedly invested in, in the, the news. news. Like sit down five o'clock, and I'm like, why? That's and not the news. Anything and the, and the view. 
Oh, fuck the view. Jesus. All that shit. All of it. It's all. And I was watching uh, somebody a- ask Anderson I Cooper so today. Many, I, I move so many older women that watch The View while, while we're moving them. And I'm like, bro, please shut this shit off. <laughs> Got Oprah sitting there. Whiny. <laughs> it's just it's it's such a wild thing. I can't I just can't deal with it. It's but, you can't you can't deal with it. No one's open minded. No one can see your point of view, even if they're even if it's even if your point of view is. That's so, why I can't deal with it. It's either one side or the other. Nobody can listen to both sides. And literally, the only the only time people listen to both sides is when they're arguing over Twitter. Even then, it's very like you're a fucking idiot. But still, people kind of are stuff. forced to read a, per, a person's reply. Sure, I get that. They're not forced, but they have to. I mean, it's there available. Yeah, you like you have to. And some people make valid points and great valid points. And so that type of argument is almost more decent than any other argument because people are just yelling at each other now on news and shit. Yeah, I, I think I was thinking about this. I was talking to my mom the other day in regards to, you know, what what's something that because she's going to therapy now, too. Right. But like, what's something that you've learned in the past five years that you've grown, that you've learned a lot, or maybe that's a like a, I don't know, a bookmark of hey, you know, this is something that I've really realized in my life. What would be what? Do you have something? Yeah, life sucks. Get over it. Man, that's not my shit. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, life my- su- life sucks. No matter who you are. There's no reason to complain about Mine's it. Mine's changing, baby. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> Everyone cover your plate. <laughs> you know, like, it, life comes at you. It's just, you, and people, keep talking. People will get too stressed out about that shit. So I've already come to figure that out at a young age. Like, life is going to kick your fucking ass no matter what, no matter who you are. You could be a rich celebrity getting your ass kicked, but you're still making money. Or it's hard times and you're not making money. You still get your ass kicked. And that's when people, you know, even celebrity or not celebrity, people still rely on their. Are you stressed out, though? Oh, me? Never. You're not. stressed. I'm not stressed out. I don't ever. When you say life sucks, like I don't think my life sucks. No, not life sucks. But not, not saying that our life sucks, but life in general sucks. You got bills. You got this. We got Iran and Israel. Like it's. Shit just happens randomly, and people stress out about it too much. Yeah, I think a lot of people over. I mean, I overthink. That's for sure. One of the things that I was telling my mom was, yeah, I do. don't because one of the things you told Dana and I and I, I literally, my heart was like, holy fuck, you and I do get each other in that sense. Where Dana started talking to you in a manner where you're like, what the f-? you're like, what the fuck's up with your attitude right now? She's like, I don't have an attitude. You talk to me like this, and, but but then you said. But you don't ever talk to me like this. I talk like this all the time. Yeah. And when I heard that, and I was like, oh my God, that's me. Where I know I I'm aggressive. I curse in every sentence. I fucking talk yes. shit. I make fun. But the fact is, you don't do that normally. What is your fucking problem? And then you start talking to me like that. I know that's not you. You have an attitude now. Right. Because that's not normally exactly. you. Exactly. And I was tripping the fuck out. I like, didn't know how to explain it, but I'm like, bitch, you don't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you did. And I was like, oh, my God, that's me. And I was like, holy shit. Because that was, that was one thing that I was telling my mom. I said, one of the things I learned is I don't like people who stoop to somebody else's level when it's not them. Because they don't like it. Right. So when... Let's say I talk aggressively and somebody doesn't to me, but then they finally do while you do it to me. Well, don't, don't, don't lower yourself to that standard. Just be always truthful to yourself. Right. right. I mean, you because, don't talk like that because there's other times that you're shit talking me and I, and you're not talking the way I'm talking and I'm like, ha ha ha. And we're yeah, all laughing. It's all good. Yeah. But then it's very, it's like, it's like, it, a, it's like, you got to try to do it. It's like childish. Yeah. It's, bitch. You don't talk like that. Quit talking <laughs> like that. Like that shit irritated me. Yeah, that that was wild. That was one thing I learned was like, <laughs> you can't. I don't like when either friends or family do it too. Where I'm like, hey, I don't. You know, maybe I don't fucking. I don't call you for your birthday. Right. I just don't. That's cool. I don't. I. You know, I have a good friend. Marvin responds to everybody on Facebook on their birthday. I do not. I don't. There's very few friends where I'll take the time. Like at midnight last night. I wait until the end of the day 
and then post a post. Thanks for the birthday wishes, everyone. I fucking hate. I I I delete my Facebook. That's why I so I don't have to reply to everybody. No, but Marvin will text every day everybody's new birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, which is great for him. But that's him. That's Mm -hmm. him. That's my point. So when he doesn't do it. In an, maybe in an angry manner, I'm like, what's your fucking problem, dude? Right. You have a problem now? Right. And, and it's kind of that, that kind of stuff, but. I, yeah, I pick at that kind of shit, too. I, I, I just can't. I can't stand it because I'm like, just be truthful to who you are. If, you, if you're the person who says happy birthday every year, just do keep it. doing it. Yeah. Just because somebody doesn't do it to you doesn't mean you have to be like, I'm not going to fucking text you this year. I'm like, <laughs> don't do that. That's, that's weird. Yeah, because. I haven't done it since the day I met you. Like, what? Exactly! Like, what? Oh, man. Like, when I see you, oh, dude, happy birthday. But I'm not going to. I'm not going out of my. I'm not going on Facebook just to go, oh, wait, today's Marvin's birthday. There's a handful of people that I will. Like, last night, I had to stay up till midnight just to text a friend, happy birthday. Right. Because that guy will fucking go out of his right. way to buy me wine. Or I mean, a- yeah, you and Marvin are good friends or friends. Oh, good friends. I'm not yeah. going to say great friends, but good friends. You, good. And, you and Jeremy are great friends. I don't know. I haven't talked to him in like two months. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dude. He's mad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Would you put his dick, your dick in his ear? I don't know what happened. I, I don't know. Mm. I, I, I told my mom. I said, I called Jay on Thursday, and uh, he didn't answer. She's like, oh, well. He's and- going gonna to say, sorry, I've just been busy. You know what? But but here's my thing on that. Maybe you are busy. Maybe something's going on. One of the best things I saw many months ago was if your friends don't respond, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. Maybe they're busy. Maybe they're fucking unhappy. But if there's a problem, don't you think they should talk to you about it? If they don't, then it ain't yeah, that big of a I problem. Just, uh, uh, there's some people. Oh, I know there's some people that I'm just like, man, I don't want to talk to you anymore, but I don't want to tell them I don't want to talk to them anymore because it would break their heart. Dudes. A couple of dudes. Is it me? No. Oh, damn. Oh, I would straight up tell you. <laughs> you would tell me, but you wouldn't tell them? Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Why would you tell me? Because I know you wouldn't like. Go off and hurt yourself or anything like that. Or go oh, there's pick. some people that would. Yeah, you know, I feel, I feel, yeah, I feel like. He, yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, I feel like mentally he's not all there. And so if I did do that, he would just be like, oh, fuck my life. <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> God damn. Where's the bridge at? Horizontal you know? for attention, vertical for results. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's bad. I mean, I don't know. I so I just kind of, but I feel bad because I just don't reply anymore. I'm just like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I just don't reply. I mean, I think I what I honestly think is Marvin had messaged me for the Oscars. Okay, yeah. so he says, "Hey boys," he texted me and Jay. Hey boys, do you guys want to come over tomorrow? I'm blacked out. When was that? Many weeks, like a month ago. Oh, okay. And I'm blacked out. And I remember looking at my phone. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> oh, I looked at it. I was like, I, I'm, I'm so fucked up right now. I bought a bottle. I'm doing it, you know. Bruh. And then the next day. I will never get that fucked up again. <laughs> when? <laughs> when? The other night, bro. The other night. Oh, that night. Yeah. Bruh. When your friend came over. Yeah, because he couldn't finish his drink. So he was like feeding them to me but he was drinking southern comfort that nasty sweet ass shit that was funny because you're like Ugh. i was back out there though yeah i mean it was cool <laughs> i don't know you took so many drugs i did <laughs> and when you told me you're like dude i got high i'm drinking and uh took a couple of these and took a couple of those i'm like what yeah. <laughs> and you're like it sobers me up i'm like really and you're like, Ugh. yeah, and then fucking, yeah, and then homeboy kept feeding me Southern Comforts, and I was fucked up, bro. I can't do that. I mean, I think I should. I want to go to a show. I should have took them before I started drinking instead of after I started drinking. Because mm-hmm. normally I, I'm already high before I start drinking, and then I go in there all fucked up. It was wild. Yeah, it was fucking. I was wild, like, Brandon's bro. gone, and then I'm over here sitting next to your friend. I'm just like, hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> How are you? Yeah. He's like, want to come over to my friend's house? No. No. I don't want a three-way. That's weird. <laughs> a three-way? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It would be weird. Well, with some other random dude that I don't know, yeah. I was just like, I know, I, I was like, I know you're trying to take me home. And I'm cool. He looks like he stinks. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. You smell like dirt, dude. I swear to God, I, I tell I tell everyone that goes out and like I'm sure I smell like what, dirt. What you say about construction, dudes? Always Sam. Like that. That was Sam. And, I, and I always love Sam when I when I fell in love with Sam. Every because Sam did work in construction, so all the dirt, all the wind. And he's a gym bro, so he fucking he sweats, that, sweats and it gets and into and your skin. He's always at the gym, and he doesn't. He only showers once a day. Yeah, uh, yeah, bro, and works where we work. And, and you're lifting shit, yeah. and you're sweaty, yeah, bro. and you come dirt. in, you hug the guy, and you're like, you smell like dirt, dude. You smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter smoke and boiled hot dog water. It's so bad. Bad. Our, Stan would always look at me, I'm going to take a shower then. I'm going to take a shower then. I just smell like outside, but. I mean, even when Rylan was playing video games when he came back from basketball practice or whatever the yeah. thing i was like you smell like dirt. and all all your kids make this weird face like they're hurt like they're like Mar i'm like why do your feet smell marley she's like stop <laughs> i always talk about her feet i'm like look at those stinky ass feet yeah. <laughs> same with dana i'll be like look at them fucking things <laughs> your feet smell dude i'm like your shit stank and rylan's up here i was like god you smell like fucking dirt dude he's like give me a stink eye i'm like well yeah, fucking playing basketball all day. Go shower. <laughs> quit pick, quit finger popping your asshole <laughs> and shit. It's fucking, it's common sense. I take two showers a day. Yeah, one Most when I wake, time. one when I wake up, and then one when I get home from work. Yeah, every time because even if it's a short job, like I take people's beds apart. All that dust and bed bugs, dead skin. Oh no, we don't fuck with that. I'll be, That's so bad. I see bed bugs and I'll be like, I'm leaving. Fuck that. That's why I watch that one guy. It's so cool to watch, but he's like bed bugs. I'll, bed tell, bugs. Cust I'll tell customers, no, I'm not doing that. It's so wild. It's so gross. They yeah. always put me on the difficult jobs too, because I'm the only one that'll be like, fuck you. You're the only one that could lift anything. Yeah, that's quickly, it. dude. Yeah, that's I'm it. like, I'm if I can lift. A bag. Oh, well, I lift up a little purse and walk it upstairs. I be carrying dressers. No way. I can't do that shit. I'm going to hire somebody. I think I carried that one. What? Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Because it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. That's actually bigger than I thought it is. That dresser? Yeah. Well, because the one the one that matched with that one, well, uh, Josh was driving it under his like little carport or whatever and he fucking rammed it to the top of the thing and i was like okay that's broken yeah nice. fuck good job but he's the guy that you saw at the bar the other day oh so, yeah. yeah yeah he has to be part of it too but that, that shit that shit's lasted long seven yeah. years seven years yeah marley was seven years old or zero well we just had marley when we got that yeah she's seven now uh. Oh. Seven years. Jesus, I told the bartender today. She's like, how long have you been here, Will? Ten years. I'm like, fuck, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Ten years? But you lived here. 35 years. <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay. Actually, I've lived in other states, too, but I've lived here most of my life. But I said I would stay here. I would stay in Colorado. I want to go move to the country. This is the country. No, we live in a city. <laughs> Well, what the fuck do you, you want to go live in Alabama? Like, no, with cows? Like, the, like the mountains and shit. We got beautiful mountain country. Just want to live in the middle. You want to be off the grid? Yeah. No, not off the grid. Not Bushman. You want to collect your own rainwater? No, I just have a little farm. Why do you want a farm? I don't want like chickens and ducks. I want, just want some <laughs> bulls so I could sell, get some meat, have a couple horses. But why wouldn't you want chickens though? I mean, ducks are cool. I want, you know what? If I was going to do that, I want those ducks that you raise as a little kid and you fly in the airplane and they fly with you. Not fly away home. Is that the movie yeah. with the little girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeff with Jeff Daniels. <laughs> yeah. Don't you want that though? <laughs> Don't you want that? Ducks are awesome, bro. My mom had ducks. I would I would want a little duck. Yeah, ducks are cool. 
or like a swan or like a a, a geese i want a I want a goat goose a goat yeah like a miniature goat hmm. no i want to want one of those yeah i want you know i do want a cow that plays with the big old balls you know how they kind of yeah hop around and shit all dumb yeah yeah i Damn. feel that i want one of those is that a beer no it's a red bull yeah fuck yeah i'm about to go have some red bull vodka <laughs> Gross. those are good no it's basically like blow without blow he's all it's basically a salad <laughs> <laughs> i want some but oh, what else what i was thinking about today um Oh, so I, we haven't we didn't talk about this last time. I almost lost a friend. I don't think I would have ever lost like, him as a friend. Like just losing him, like oh, you're not my friend anymore, or he almost died. Type almost lost a friend. Like he doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Oh, so he's <laughs> why? So we were we were partying. We were partying many 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 weeks ago. We were partying and. Uh, why is it warm? We were partying, and uh, I said, oh, you should be part of the podcast, like, as a guest. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. He's like, what's this about? Blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> what? This is warm. Oh, we're going to pause now. Take out the fridge. Pause, pause. Do, 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 do. We'll be back after the break. Oh, there you go. Motherfuck. Got a warm Red Bull. That was the nastiest shit I've ever tasted. You got that uh, guy. He's like, what the motherfucker? Motherfucker. M- motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, we go partying. And I see him. And I his his last name sounds like Clitlick. So I, I'm like, hey, Clitlick. He turns around. He hugs me. What's his name, though? Uh, Mike. Mike. How does his name sound like Clitlick? His last name. Oh. Lipshits? <laughs> What is it? Uh, what is it? Lipstick? What's the uh, from the mask? What's his last name? Lip, Jim Carrey. Lipshit. No, it's not. It's it's something like that though. I think it's li- lipshits. I don't know. I have to look it up. Anyway, or or lip lipkiss lip, 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 lipkiss. Lip yeah. Uh, so I was like, I call him li- uh, Clitlick. I'm like, what's up, Clitlick? He hugs me. We're talking. I didn't know we matched on Tinder one time, and I was like, oh, great, great, you know, match, whatever. I was just being stupid. I don't really find him as someone I would date. What was interesting Ooh, during steak to the heart. <laughs> Ooh. But he, you know, during the conversation, he says, I thought we could date. And I was like, we couldn't date. And he says, why? And I looked at him. I said, we would argue. I literally said, we would argue you're and like, get into fights. You're like, I pass. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. And so finally we started talking and said, Hey, do the podcast. He says, uh, what do you guys talk about? I was like, we talk about everything. We even say the word retarded. And little did I know or figure out or remember, he's a special needs teacher. <laughs> I would have been like, yeah, I'm all about that shit. <laughs> I felt so, and I was like, and he's like, don't say that word. And I was like, why not? We just said, and he's like, no. I was like, oh, my bad. You're a special needs teacher. He's like, yeah. And I was like, fuck, that's the wrong move to make. Yeah, we wouldn't get along. <laughs> That's why we can't date. <laughs> That's what I would have said. You're a special needs teacher. <laughs> That's why we can't date. <laughs> and I felt bad because I was like, I didn't mean it like that. Because he was like, well, the, there like, was... what do you mean by that? You teach retarded kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> they, have, they have special needs. Not the squawk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was just like, oh, fuck, my bad. But then it, it kind of got into like a debate. I was like, I don't mean it the way you're taking it. And the way you're taking it. Oh, 
I don't mean it when I'm t- talking about it when it when it's an actual special needs person. But if I'm calling a regular person a retard, I fucking mean that shit. <laughs> well, yeah, you mean it. it means extra, extra stupid. You're fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah. It's not has anything to do with that. You got the sisms and the <laughs> isms. Like, you got all it's of them. Like, it's like, I don't know, fucking to the power of 10. Dude. Yeah, you're Stupid dumbest. to the power of 10 you're, is you. You're fucking a re But I, and then he said, and then was, this is where, like, it kind of got into the conversation. Like, like kind of going back and forth. And I and he said, "Why don't you go outside right now? Everybody's dancing outside. All the go-go dancers are outside. Everyone's drinking." He says, "Why don't you go outside and say the n-word?" And I was like, "Why the fuck would I do that?" And he's like, "Well, why don't you go say the r-word? Or, you know, retarded out." There. Why the fuck would I do that either? Like, I'm not going outside. That's antagonistic. That's hurtful. That's obnoxious. Even though I am. I mean. Aren't we obnoxious right now? Yeah, but my point being is like that's well. I mean, I could go outside and scream "retard," and I'm not going to be worried about a whole. I wouldn't do that. A whole movement coming to beat my ass. I wouldn't do what well, I mean, obviously, but there's also not a thousand people around and, you, and there's no racial meaning behind "retard." No, but that was my. I you was like, why I'm the saying? fuck would we do any of that? Also, the main reason, though, I wouldn't just go out and say the N-word compared to the R-word is because racial meanings. Like, retarded has nothing to do with racial. No. You could be black. It's a disability. You could be Chinese. You could be white. You could be Mexican and be fucking retarded. Like, no fucking, no pun intended. Like, you could be retarded. No ethnic, no ethnicity has to deal with anything. Yeah. It was just wild because I was like, why the fuck would I do any of those things? Like, it seems malicious. It seems like you're purposely trying to hurt someone if you were to go do that. Right. In a fucking public area. Well, actually, area. Well, that's kind of crazy because, well, at work, I'd just be walking around going, retard alert. <laughs> why? I don't know. I just say it all the time at work. Just because? Yeah. I just be random. Again, I don't say anything to be hurtful. I, remember, I don't either. We just be carrying furniture, and I'd be like, "Retard alert!" Well, I remember one day I was at the, I was going to, at, at a grocery store, and I was like, "Look at that whale!" And I didn't mean it for this person to hear me. That's like a half baked, where he's like, "Hey, girl, you hungry?" She's like, <laughs> "Fuck you!" <laughs> and I didn't mean it that way. He's like, "I was talking to the horse." <laughs> <laughs> And Jay was like, William. And I was like, what? He's like, she can hear you. I was like, oh, fuck, my bad. I'd be like, I'd, I'd do say shit like that in the store, too. I'd be like, damn, Thunder Thighs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it like that. That's why my point was, I was like, I don't like do You should have seen malicious. this bowling ball of a girl at Ryland School. Jesus. A bowling ball? Which, yeah. She was like the blueberry from uh, Willy Wonka, bruh. But her legs were tree trunks, homie. <laughs> they were like that fucking whey bottle. I, well, when you say tree trunks, that what bottle? This? No! Why did you tip? Ah! <laughs> now the scoop's gonna get lost in the powder. That's her ankle. <laughs> The yeah, small yeah, yeah. part is her ankle. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was her calf. Bro. She needs some protein, dude. Like, I think I'm getting bare closed veins. Just get one of those coffee spoons and start and to pull it out. The vein? No, that scoop. Oh, <laughs> I was like, really? He's all, really? The vein? You're going to get rid of my bare closed veins? I don't know if you I'm going to some. I felt some veins on my thighs the other day. Bare closed veins are like little bluish veins. They were popping, though. You ain't got no bare closed veins. I don't know, but. I have to see see if they're out. Hold on. Hey Siri, let me see varicose veins. <laughs> they're like Williams. <laughs> Here's a picture of Williams' leg. It's pretty bad. Just, I mean, I felt it. It's just because you f- feel it doesn't mean. I don't think they're, they're gonna be there. But that's not what it is. Varicose veins. Image under pressure. Yeah, look at those. Those blue things. You ain't got those. Oh, I don't think I have those. I think no. maybe it's just a poppy, a pop vein. Yeah, you, yeah, you ain't got no varicose veins. like vein. a wiener vein or something. Like the leg. fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm 70. I got varicose <laughs> veins. What the fuck? <laughs> I got saggy skin. I do. Got that. You, you got, got, you got that, that weak out. skin. Put, put a Band-Aid out. on and then rip it off and pull some skin off. Forever chemicals. Uh, paper thin skin. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Do you work tomorrow? 
No, you don't work tomorrow. No, Monday, yeah. baby. Well, like I said, we're going to have to go see Civil War on Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to have to watch Red Dawn tonight. I can do that. I'm about to do it right now after this. <laughs> no, you have to wait. What the fuck? Like an hour, dude. We're going to go get vodka Red Bulls. No, because then when you come back, you're just going to be talking. Talking? Yeah, because you're going to be drunk. Oh, not that drunk. Oh. I just relax. No, no, I don't have a bottle where I can just keep going to to the black hole. Uh, you haven't bought a bottle in a minute. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I'll go spend 15, 20 bucks real quick, get a buzz, come back. I don't want to get shit faced. Okay. <laughs> what? That's better, right? <laughs> yeah. People are like, is that good? I don't know if that's good or not. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen a bottle up here in a minute. I mean, there's a bottle that's been empty for like a fucking couple weeks. But yeah, I don't want to buy a bottle. <laughs> so I have it stashed. I won't do that. I don't have anything to hide from you. I know. I'm just the fuck. fuck. Like, I'm hiding fuck. from myself. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would if I had my, if I had my own house. <laughs> you know what I'm getting? I have to get one of those things where like Siri is like, William, it's not being unlocked till tomorrow morning. The Amazon like, lady. No! What What is the Amazon bitch? Alexa? Oh, yeah. Alexa. Like Alexa, my... no. She's like, I can't unlock the bottle. She's all, no, unlocking liquor cabinet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. Like, you can't unlock it. Don't unlock it till tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. She's like, why at 10? I don't know. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Like I said, at this point, where this bar, two people, two of the bartenders are like, what's your name? And I'm like, oh, you, you even charge my card anymore. I'd be Until like, we're done. My name is Bob. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. They like me. It's cool. They're randoms. No, she's there almost every week. But she's random to you. Yeah, she's random to me until today. Cause she's like, oh, talking like, to you about where be I live. I friends with you. I, you don't need to know where I live. Yeah, I mean, obviously you live around here if you go to the clock tower. Bitch. Maybe no you, one needs maybe, to know. Maybe you drive from Highlands Ranch. Maybe you drive from Arvada. Maybe. Maybe. She don't know. Actually, she lives in Aurora. Yeah. See? I was like, that's fucking far. Well, I was like, why the fuck do you come all the way over yeah, here like, just to bartend? Yeah. Really? Bartend over there? Yeah. There's plenty. She's like, I don't want to get shot. <laughs> Ugh. I do want to go to that seafood place again. The Krusty Krab. The Krusty Krab? I don't know what it's called. I don't know either. I don't but, need seafood. Yeah, you don't, but it's so good. I want Can that I sauce again. Can I get some again. chicken strips? <laughs> uh, it's like, you know, you're that one kid that's like whitewashed that you go with your Mexican family to the Mexican restaurant. They're all ordering like Can I get tacos. a tortilla? <laughs> and like a hamburger at a Mexican place? <laughs> Mexicans don't cook Can I get a either. Mexican hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> But in the title, it says American hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what the smothered fuck? in green chili. <laughs> yeah. You'll need a knife to eat this. <laughs> like all that cheese and shit on it. Gross. Marley does. Marley does this one thing where she wants me to play video games with her. And she's like, aren't we a team? Right. We're a team. And I'm like, we're only a fucking team until it benefits you. Once you're fucking ready to attack me, dude, she's you're like, ready you're to going down. down. She's like, there's only one. <laughs> there's only one, yo. It's so frustrating because every time she's like, team will. I was like, yeah, until it fucking benefits you to stab me in the back. And then she sees that number one and then she gets that <laughs> dopamine. <laughs> she's like, oh my God, I'm winning. <laughs> it's so brutal. That fucking what game did we play yesterday? The fucking Smash Brothers? No, the one where you have to pick the bones from the body. Oh, Operation? That fucking game is retarded, dude. Do you remember that game when you were a kid? Yes. I remember Mousetrap? No. Oh, shit. What's the one where you have to hit? I mean, I remember Hungry Hungry Hippos, Hippos, but there's another one where Uh, it it had like a dice in it. Is that Toggle? The balls? Like, yeah, on each corner? No, it was like... A ball in the middle that rolled the dice and you pressed it and then there was colors that you would go around you would... yes like blue green yeah, red and yellow yeah, yeah but what it's not called toggle is it you yeah. have a phone yeah it's is called, it toggle yeah, it's toggle what other games remember guess who guess who remember fucking pickup sticks yes i remember that or mo- the barrel of monkeys rarely played that my i think my stepbrother played that more than i did yeah 
But I remember Guess Who. That that was one. I wanted to do... Heads Up 7 Up. Heads Up 7 Up. That's not a board game, is it? No. It's, a, it's a, like a Duck Duck Goose kind of thing? Yeah. I don't know. Um, What was it? I wanted to do... Yeah, uh, Toggle. Oh, it's Trouble. Trouble. That's there what it go. is. Did you ever play Marbles? Yeah, not really. Mm. Or you, Pogs? Remember I Pogs? Had, I had Pogs, but I never the played them. The Yeah. Those are fun. Yeah, I had Pogs. I had fucking Pokemon cards. I had fucking... Pogs were the 80s, though. Pokemon cards are like 96 and up. Yeah, but Pogs were late 80s, early 90s. Arr, 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 arr. What Pogs. else, though? Remember the fucking little Game Boys when they first came out? Oh, the original black and white? I used to have Tetris. There, oh, there's this thing on fucking TikTok, a little filter, and you put your birth year in there, and it tells you the same age of what <laughs> items you're the same age as. Mine was a Game Boy and two other things. They were lame ass things, though. That's why I didn't remember them. <laughs> but the You're one. Like, I don't want to. But I am the same age up. as a Game Boy, though. That's cool. Like the original. Remember the Game Boy Color? Those yeah. Those were cool. Th- that was my Those first Game fun. Boy with Kirby. I had Kirby and Pokemon. I had Pokemon. I had. Uh, what's the green. Uh, the, the black alien with the green. Helmet from Looney Tunes, Marvin the Martian. Yeah, I had that. That shit's fun. I had Space Jam on Game Boy Color. Mm-hmm. I didn't have that. I remember Pokemon Pinball. That Ooh. shit was fucking legit. Ooh, that was the one to fucking try to beat. Yeah, that would be cool. That was cool. I had Power Rangers. I didn't have that. Yeah, Power Rangers was fun. Mortal Kombat. That was probably Sega Genesis. Yeah, Sega was fun. Remember <laughs> yeah, Sega? Sega. Fucking Sonic, bro. So wasn't Sonic like the best game ever? Sonic like, 2 and Sonic 3 were the best, bro. I actually listened to that whole soundtrack while I'm gaming. On Call of Duty? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're high and you're fucking having a great time. Yeah, it's just I just play random shit. I don't I mean. Just I keep the stream play. popping. I mean, I think I just had Tetris, the Marvin the Martian. I had what's a it's Darwin Duck. I yeah. had that video game. Tetris was gay. Me, fucking Pac Man. They, they had dark. They, they did have no no they. They had what was the one with the three little fucking ducks and fucking Ducktales. Mm. I had Ducktales. Those are cool. That was a fun one. What other fucking uh, remember? Um, Twister. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever? Well, you haven't played. I, I haven't played either. But when uh, my friend Jay was telling me that he had some guys over, and, <laughs> <laughs> oh hell, and man. that was one night it didn't go, and they were doing a strip. What is it called? Twister. Strip twist. Isn't it the one you have to put the the hands on the thing? Yeah, the color. The colors. Yeah, that's Twister. And uh, he was like, "Yeah, I, I had a, <laughs> I had a." blow this other guy and i was like ew yeah, <laughs> i was like know. i would never have done that <laughs> <laughs> i was like this is what thank god i didn't go He's all, thank god i was like if i'm playing twister i have to invite the people that i want to play <laughs> twister i'm not doing it with you guys that's weird yeah gross that's weird uh that would have been uh awkward and just like ew. God damn. Like, I would play regular Twister, but not. <laughs> yeah. Let's not, not play strip st- twister. Let's not play strip <laughs> twister, please. It's cool. I mean, I would. Uh, it's just be so uncomfortable. Especially with a guy that you don't, or somebody that you don't like. You, like a, or like a chick that you don't like. You're like, yeah. I don't ever, ever want to do this right now. Right? Like ah! It's a super fat girl, and you find a biscuit under her belly. <laughs> or you find a biscuit in her bush. <laughs> You're like, or a bat just cl- flies out. <laughs> <It's> all- <laughs> no, I mean that's just weird. A robin co- pops out for spring. I mean, my, tweet, 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 tweet. my... <laughs> you got a little. What it was it? The little bird, the little yellow bird uh, from yeah. Looney Tunes. A Tweety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> She's off. To- I thought I thought a putty cat. <laughs> no, it's more of like a pussy cat. <laughs> a bush tiger. Gross. Gross. I can't do that. I remember I was like, I there's there's a couple of people that I bite, but no. I just can't. Like over with a random guy where I'm like, I have to I have to do this. What if he It's looked, like taking one what for if the he team. looked homeless? There's some homeless guys that are cute. 
What the fuck? There's some. Don't. I mean, I'm not gonna to. Ima- imagine <laughs> the smell. It smell like dirt. <laughs> they smell like more you than smell that. Smell like dirt, dude. Would you go play basketball? <laughs> cross them up and get stabbed by a needle and shit i mean there's some i'm like okay you don't have to be homeless <laughs> you know i'm sure there's some daddy that would take you home damn <laughs> what? Nah, i think the smell pushes everybody away look and those, and those stupid ass signs that they have what it, what was the fucking thing that ah uh, there's this one guy who said i asked this homeless person if i can take her home and she says yes so I took her cardboard box back to my place. <laughs> I seen on Twitter that, that this dude was trying to have sex with this homeless lady, and she took her pants off, and he threw up because it stank so bad. Yeah, you see those uh, that video with the flies going around? Yeah. Like all flies and... Fucking nasty. <laughs> you need some baby powder. Fucking need some something. <laughs> you, need some, you need some Irish spring down there, baby, dude. The Irish <laughs> spring cures it all. <laughs> Before I got my Sasquatch soap. All the gays. Actually, yeah, that shit smells good. Your Sasquatch soap. Yeah, I love that shit. But I, I do like my Irish spring. One, I, one that's the, what I used before the Sasquatch so was always I wish Irish Spring. I wish I wish I spring. I w- you know it's funny people make fun of me, but I once I have a closet next to the bathroom, mm-hmm. I know there's going to be like a hundred Irish Spring. And then bars. you open it and it smells so good. Well, it's just everything. Like I buy in bulk, right? So I was like, there's going to be a hundred bottles of toothpaste. But every time you open it, it smells like Irish. It spring. smells great. Every it time. smells good. And, and it has towels, clean towels in it, yeah. and it smells like everything. towels. And- it's everything. Yeah. I, but the only reason why I like Irish Spring, and I know I'm gay. All the gays are going to fucking hate me because they're like, you, you use Irish Spring for everything. Yeah, my asshole, my face, my pits, everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. My ears, you know, in there, get that wax out. Yeah. But like a lot of gays are like, hey, you got to use all of this other stuff. I don't use that shit, dude. No. I don't use it. That's too much shit. And I have oily skin, so the Irish Spring definitely gets all the oil out. Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> yeah, it does. I got that exfoliating rag and that shit. Yeah, I think it's something like that, though. That shit just rubs all the dead skin off. It's amazing. The Irish Spring? Or your exfoliating stuff? Yeah, that rag. I don't know. I might have to ask that one guy we interviewed, Marius, about his skin stuff. (laughs) He's still fucking like 22, though. Yeah. So... Of course, he's still. He looked like a baby still, anyway. Yeah, he looks fine. Wait until he gets to our age. There's another guy that I follow. And then he's going to look worse. He's 33. He looks good. But he does look aged, though. Look at, like, fine wine. Looks good. Uh, there's not a very. Man, people these days don't age very well. Yeah, because everyone eats what we eat here. It's terrible. If you're in Japan. Japan. Yeah, they look great when they're like. Well, Jap- the Asian people. When they get to a certain age, I love they look their great until they're white shriveled. hair. What? What? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they get so, like so old, their hair gets so white. <laughs> the Asians? The Asian people, yeah. Uh, like what? Bill from Kill Bill? Yeah, that bitch, the dude that go like this. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. That motherfucking yeah. hair gets so white. <laughs> it does, though. You want your hair like that? Yeah. No, I don't want mine. I mean, I already have a lot your of your beard's hair. already like that. Mine, yeah, now. Fucking old ass man. I'm, I'm probably gonna die. Mine's getting there. Look, like I'm getting. Wild. Mine's worse than yours though, I and know. I'm younger than you. I know. Ah, I hate it. It's amazing. No, it's just all white right here, and yeah. Taylor, think my my ex has way more white hair. It's everywhere. I'm gonna start calling you patches. <laughs> Patches of hula hand. Yeah, you got black from dodgeball. Yeah, you got black. You can dodge a wrench. Yeah. You can dodge a ball. Fucking Dalmatian over here, black and white <laughs> patches. <laughs> That's so mean. I'm so old. You know what's tripping me out? What is that? This week, like for like four times during this week, I was thinking like, I know I ate something this morning, and then you forgot, and like, I couldn't remember what the fuck I ate. Don't laugh. <laughs> You're like dementia's happening already, brother. <laughs> You got the frontal lobe dementia like Bruce Willis. <laughs> Your speech is about to become impaired. It's it's getting, well, I thought it was getting worse, but I was like, fuck. I was like, I know I ate something this morning. And I was like, oh, cottage cheese. But I was like, why did it take me like five minutes? I just ate it two hours ago. Like, fuck. I'm tripping have, the fuck out. But 
that's just because I feel like you're getting older. I have those brain lapses too. Like, where the fuck I put the car keys? And yeah, look, and look it's, around. What the fuck? Or where? The fuck? And you just did it? Yeah. Ah, it's wild. It's more likely my wallet though. My wallet is my main thing. I I just trip out. Dude. It's I always my it. wallet. Like, where the fuck did I put my wallet? That. Well, I mean, I you know I have my wallet just here all the time. That little thing. Yeah. And I love that motherfucker. You guys have the big old wallets. I don't fucking like that shit. That shit, dope. I can't wait. I want to get sponsored. I've had my wallet since I was like 15, though. I want to get... What? Yeah. So, like, my wallet came out before those wallets. Yeah. I want to get sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet. Those would be cool. Wouldn't it? I've seen them bitches get shot by a pistol. And they save them? Yeah. It's like that one... What's that one movie where Only she brings a pistol, up though. The, She's like, oh... Oh, it's uh, uh, bringing in the house when Queen Latifah brings out the wallet oh, or whatever, yeah. or her cell phone, stops the bullet. Yeah, that would be wild, bro. To get what shot by us and then saved by a cell phone? Yeah, like the flip phone. Yeah, fucking shit, fucking shit. I would shit my pants probably. I don't want to do that. Well, When's the last time you shit your pants? Man, <laughs> a couple. What? <laughs> Like a month ago, I think. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) 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 Oh, man. Uh, That was a good one. I (laughs) remember. I haven't, I haven't, but it got on your underwear? Yeah. Thank God for I my big old ass. It wasn't like a full, like, shit. Though. It was like a little poo drop. I remember, I'm so happy I have a big ass because, like. I farted. Go ahead. If I have a big ass because if I poop fart, it just stays between the cheeks before it gets on the underwear. It does, <laughs> but I was sitting down. <laughs> and when you're sitting down. It's almost impossible to not get a smudge on your <laughs> underwear. You like, are my underwear good? No, if you're good. standing up, they're good. You can hold it. And oh, I, I'd be sitting down, dude. No. Oh, and it still don't go through <laughs> my ass. I bet you it spreads like peanut butter on bread. And then you wipe, and you're like, it's all over the square. <laughs> you, have, you have to write, wipe from left to right. <laughs> Like you have like a square, like a search radius to wipe because you were sitting down. And when you do it, you know there's stuff closer to the sack. So oh you yeah, wipe. you ha- yeah yeah. When you, you wipe the hole, yeah, you get it all, and then you. And wipe. I got hair right there, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to make sure the hair get clean. <laughs> this is that by that time you gotta take a shower, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or you just scoop the water from the toilet. No, here. immediate hop in the shower. <laughs> Every time. That's I epi- shit my pants, I'm getting in the shower. <laughs> Is that episode 26? That's episode 26. 34? 34. Oh, 26. Bye. Done. Peace. <laughs>